Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to our math lesson today. Well, not welcome back, but welcome to our math lesson today. So today we're working on lesson 14.3, which is elapsed time, except for now we're going to be talking about adding up our minutes. We're not going to be looking at how many minutes happened between or how many hours, but how much time did it take us to do something. So I'm going to model today with examples of things that you might be doing around your house. So this would be like, how long did it take me to complete my chores? So in your notebook, we're going to make a list of our chores and how long it will take. So the first chore is we need to clean our room. And cleaning my room takes me about 15 minutes to complete. All right, the next chore I need to do is I need to sort my laundry into colored piles for my mom, and that takes me about 10 minutes. I need to make my bed, which is going to take me about five minutes, and then I need to put all my toys away from all over the house, and that takes me about 20 minutes. That really takes me a long time because I like to play. So I want to know how long is it going to take me to do all of my chores? Well, we can do this on a number line. We can do this on a clock. There's lots of ways. So let's start as a number line. Let's start at zero minutes, and let's go ahead and count up. So the first thing we need to do is how many minutes does it take me to clean my room? So that would put me at 15 minutes, oops, minutes. I'm going to go up, okay? And so if I was counting like in increments of 10, let's just say that to help me figure this out. Oh, here's 60, which is one hour, another 10. I would land between 10 and 20 at 15 minutes. Then from here, I'm going to go up another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes would put me in between. That's my sorting my laundry time. Then I'm going to go five minutes. That's my make my bed time. And now I have to go 20 minutes. 30, 40, oh, I forgot 50. 50. So there you go. Sorry, boys and girls. That would put me at 20 minutes. So how long does it take for me to do my chores? It would be 50 minutes. We could also have added all of our minutes up, lining up our ones, tens, and hundreds. Five plus zero plus five plus zero would give me a group of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and that would give me 50 minutes. But what happens if it takes us longer than 60 minutes to do an activity? Let's do one more set of notes. I'm going to turn my page just so there's enough room. And let's talk about how long it takes for me to get ready in the morning for school. So first when I get up, I brush my teeth. And that takes me about three minutes to brush my teeth. Then I get dressed, and because I like to lay on my bed and complain, that actually takes me about five minutes. Then I get go ahead and I eat my breakfast, and because I like to watch TV while I eat my breakfast, that takes me like 40 minutes. Then I have to get my supplies for the day. So that's going to take me 10 minutes to get all my supplies for the day. And finally, I'm going to log on and check in with Mrs. Weinkind. And that takes me about three minutes. So let's add up and see how long is it going to take me to get ready for the day. So let's think of this as chunks on a bar diagram. So here's my total time it's going to take to get ready. And I have it broken into three minutes, 
five minutes, 40 minutes, 10 minutes, and three minutes. And let's see how long it takes for us to get ready. So if I chunk this like this, we're gonna add all of that up. So three minutes and five minutes, that would take me eight minutes. Let's do 40 and 10 would take me 50 minutes and bring down my three minutes. Then let's start combining. 50 plus eight would take me 58 minutes. Bring down my three minutes. Uh-oh, look what happens when I add eight plus three. I get to 61 minutes. Well, 61 minutes doesn't exist. Because remember that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So if I'm beyond 60, I have to now take the 60 away and change that into an hour. So taking away the 60 would mean that I have taken one hour and then I have one minute left. Okay, I can also use my clock and count around. Count my three minutes, then go up five minutes, then count to 40 and go up to 10, go up to three and see what happens. Okay, you can also do this on a number line. Three minutes, five minutes, 40 minutes, 10, three. Let's start at zero. I would land at three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight jump 40 is 48. 48 jump 10 is 58. Break this into two, which would get me to 60, and then one more. So here is my division between my hour and my minute. Okay, let's grab our small note, um, small math book your additional practice workbook and open up to page 175. And we're going to look here at number one. 175, number one. It says, a bus travels for 22 minutes from Greensburg to Pleasant Valley. Then it travels 16 minutes from Pleasant Valley to Red Mill. How many minutes does it travel? So it's traveling 22 minutes from one place to the next, and then 16 minutes from that place to its final destination. So you can see they created the number line to help me get started. The first travel time was 22 minutes. So I went from zero and I went up 22, which put me between 20 and 30. Now I'm going to go up 16. So I'm going to actually break 16 into 10 and six. You don't have to, but for me it's easier. If I go up 10, I'm going to land right here at 32. Then I can go up six and I can count 32 and six much easier and that would put me at 38. So my travel time would be 38 minutes. All right, let's try number two. Ethan needs to spend 35 minutes cleaning his room. So far, he has been cleaning for 11 minutes. How many more minutes does he need to spend cleaning? So his mom set a timer and said, you have to be in there for 35 minutes to clean. So far, he has done 11. So that means he's not made it yet. We want to know how many more minutes, subtract, does he still need to spend? So they kind of drew a bar diagram here saying 35 minutes is what mom recommended. He's done 11. What does he have left? Well, I can just subtract. If he has to spend 35 and he's done 11, look how many minutes he still has. 24. All right. Flip your book, please, to page 176 on the back here. We're going to look at problem number nine. Colby's art class is 50 minutes. She spends 21 minutes cutting paper, 
and the rest of the time making a collage. Use the number line and complete the table to show the number of minutes Colby spends making her collage. So her total class time is 50 minutes. That's total. She spends 21 minutes doing her paper. So she's already started working. The rest of her time is making a collage. So if I thought of this in a bar diagram form, my total time is 50, 21 minutes was paper, I need to figure out the collage part. Here is my 50. 21 minutes is what she has done. I'm figuring out how much more does she need to go. I can also fill it in on my chart. Her total time is 50. She spent 21. All three of these are telling me to do the same thing. I'm going to subtract what she spent doing paper to figure out what's left. I cannot take one from fifth, from zero, so I'm going to regroup my tens into four tens and ten ones. Then I'm able to do my subtraction, which would give me 29 minutes for her collage. Good. All right, so today you're going to be working on number word problems. Some are going to be adding time together, and some are going to be subtracting. Use your clock and your paper as needed to help you understand.